Hello and welcome to the next in my video series, Keep Psalms and Carry On, Seeking Solace in the Psalms. In this video, I offer you a psalm to focus on and to enjoy, to bring peace and meditation into your Christian walk. I offer this video not so much to explain the psalm, but to enjoy it as a tool of meditation and to find your own calm and peace in God's work. So let's begin with a prayer. Our Lord and Father, we thank you for the many blessings that you bestow upon us. Bless us now with peace and strength of mind. Bless us with serenity and the capacity to feel your presence in us. Be with us now as we meditate upon the word you have given us. It is in your Son's most holy name that I pray. Amen. So the psalm that I want to look at today is Psalm number 46. And this one is a really good one for times that you are feeling beset by difficulties and anxious about enemies within and without. If you're of my generation, you may remember the rock group Led Zeppelin, who wrote a song called Thank You, which was a love song that had the following lyrics. If the sun refused to shine, I would still be loving you. When the mountains crumble to the sea, there will still be you and me. While that song was a love song to a woman, it reflects God's love for us, expressed to us by David in this psalm. God as our refuge and strength. He's a very present help. He is there always. Love songs often express an undying love, but though the sentiment in the Led Zeppelin song is admirable, it isn't the true undying love of God. He is always there. If the mountains slip into the sea and the waters roar and foam and mountains quake, God's love and strength and his refuge will truly always be there. And here is that word, sila, thought to be a musical notation to tell the singers to pause, but let's meditate upon it as a telling us to pause ourselves, to take a deep breath when we are troubled so deeply. It is quaking like the mountains around us, this anxiety roaring and foaming like powerful seas. Sila, pause. Take a breath. God is with us. God is our refuge. Then look at the metaphor David uses next. God in the river, the river amongst the dwelling places of the Most High. Think of the power of rivers. Think about the Grand Canyon. Very mountains cut down by a river. A river will not be moved. It will cut its path even through mountains. When God raises his voice against these nations, making their own uproar, even the very earth melts before him. This is the strength of God. This is what we need to remember when we are troubled by these enemies, both inside and out. The Lord of hosts is with us. The Lord of hosts. Think of the power in that. He is our stronghold. Sila. Pause. Breathe. Then we are reinforced by David with God's power, his power to behold and behold that that power that wrought desolations, it ends wars, it breaks weapons, it burns the chariots. If there are wars and troubles in you, God will break those things that trouble you. Again and finally, sila, pause, breathe. If you enjoyed this video, please 
hit the thumbs up button at the bottom. And if you haven't subscribed to the Northfield Church of Christ's YouTube page, hit the subscribe button and you'll be alerted to our other content, such as our live streams of our Sunday morning Bible studies and live streams of our Sunday morning worship service. And at 6 p.m. on Sundays, our minister Mark will present another lesson for you and another opportunity to commune and get into God's Word. So until next time, keep Psalms and carry on.